Hi Galileo. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? How are you? Really good. <laughs> oh nice. I'm very well. I'm very well. Thank you for, for asking. All right. How was your day? Uh good. I I was in in, in inventory. Oh, you were doing uh, an inventory. Hunting the stock in the whole inventory. Yes, I, as I, I was doing inventory, you can say. I was, I was doing, doing inventory. inventory. The inventory. Uh, yes. It's a lot of work, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I have a question about Papa Jones. Uh, okay. Is Papa Jones still in San Miguel? Yes, in the yes. terminal. It's on the or Oh, now, now it's in Atapa. It's not in front of Metro Centro anymore. No, anymore. Uh, yeah. there, there are one branch in uh, Los Encuentros or El Encuentro. Oh, El Encuentro. Yeah. In the new, in the new mall, are, right? Yeah. There are uh, other branch in, in, in La Tapa. Uh, okay, so... So basically you have okay, so basically you have two branches in San in San Miguel. One in San Miguel. And one in El Encuentro. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Okay, yeah. very good. We have, we have a mobile unit in La Unión. Mm. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Where is it in La Unión? Where? It's in La, in La uh, Unión, where? Uh, in the park. I see. Oh, it's in the park. Okay. In the park. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, hi, Beatrice. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. <laughs> How are you doing? Bien, teacher. <laughs> very well. You Muy say bien. Very well. Very, very, well. Well. very, very well. well. Very well. Very well. Okay. Very hi, Oscar well. Ardolfo. Hi, teacher. How are you when doing? Are you going, going to Morazan. Uh, so you decide, just let me know when you come. Solo dígame cuando viene. Just let me know when you come. In the August. Yeah, okay, That's in August. Where... In August, yes, maybe you can. Vacation. Yeah, on vacation. Maybe you can make a tour and then you can, you can come here. I think, I, I think Oscar have a good idea. It's it's a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yes. I'm I'm waiting here. Just tell me I'm going this day and I'm waiting here. I like the to class go. in Morazan. Sorry. Sorry. The last what? class in Morazan in living. Yes. Live and vivo. Live. <laughs> okay. We can consider it. Hi, Frida. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you doing? Fine. Oh, nice, it's good to see you. Thank you. Hi, Glorivel, yeah, Glorivel is connecting, I think. Glorivel and Jocelyn. Hi, Glorivel and Jocelyn. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Did you know good I, I said hi. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, fine. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. Hi, Gloribel. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Oh, Thank nice. You. I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Just waiting for this. For this class, okay, to start. Okay, so it's A3. So I will pass the attendance in this moment. So please say here, I'm here, present, or as you wish, okay? So let's see, Alejandro Antonio, Beatriz, 
Present teacher. Um, let me see, Abigail. Christian. Ember. Frida. Present. Jacqueline. Lisette, okay, Jacqueline Lisette. Juan Carlos Alas. Juan Carlos Rivas. Present Jet Eunice. María Elena. Not present, right? A uh, Mauricio Antonio. Nelson. Omar Francisco. Oh my God, que bastante faltan ahora. Oscar Anulfo. Present. Ok, thank you. Um, Oscar Ernesto Melara. Rocío. Present teacher. Oh, yeah, she's coming. Ok, thank you. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joana. I'm here. Ok, uh, Yesenia Marisol, no right. Dinora. Dinora, a present yet, and Jose Galileo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. So uh, just a quick question. Uh, did you finish uh, your presentation yesterday? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, that's perfect. So I guess uh, in this moment, uh, you know a lot about the simple past, right? So I will ask some questions quickly. Um, oh, Frida, do you have a question? Uh, okay, okay. Bon appetit, by the way. Okay, so, um, okay, I have some questions in general about the simple past, okay? Um, how do you make positive sentences or positive statements in the simple past? How? Uh, we take the and add ed or d in the regular verbs. Okay. Uh, in the irregular verbs, the verbs uh, change completely. Yes. Okay. So basically, what you are saying, Galileo, is that in positive sentences in past, we use the verb in past. Yes. That's what you're saying, right? We use the verb in past. We put EVE, okay, like invited, updated, learned, or walked, okay, walked, or um, these are regular verbs, okay? Para los regulares, we put ED, or, or we apply a rule, o aplicamos una regla para poner la ED, okay? Good. And for irregular verbs, the verb is different in the past, okay? For example, speak. In present, you say, I speak two languages, right? But in past, you say, I spoke. So the verb is different. El verbo cambia. I spoke uh, English with a gringo yesterday, for example. I spoke English with uh, an American yesterday, okay? Yeah? So you change the verb. El verbo cambia en pasado. But this is important only in the positive. What do we do in the negative? ¿Qué hacemos en el negativo? What do we do in the negative sentences? Not Galileo, somebody else. <laughs> in negative sentence, you have to use the auxiliary did. Ah, we have to use the auxiliary didn't or did not, right? Didn't or did not. And the verb is in present or in past? In present because yeah. we use the auxiliary. That's right, in present, because we are using the auxiliary. Very good. So you say, uh, for example, you can say, uh, did you listen, right, in present? Did you listen, listen in present? Did you listen to music yesterday? Or did you have English class yesterday? Yes? So the verb doesn't change. El verbo aquí no cambia, because we are using did. Estamos usando el did, y el did makes the past. Ese hace el pasado. What about negative? ¿Qué hay de los negativos? What about negative? Not Frida and not Galileo. Somebody else. In negative sentences in the simple past, what do we do? ¿Qué hacemos para el negativo? What do we do for, 
for the, I mean, for the equations, para las preguntas, sorry. What do we do for the equations? In the, the then in the negative, sorry, I confused there. Uh, so Frida, we say, I didn't, right? I didn't have class yesterday, or I didn't go, okay, to work. I didn't go to work uh, yesterday, for example. And in the equation, in la pregunta? The auxiliary did uh, is uh, in the first in sentence. Yes, the auxiliary did is used at the beginning of the sentence, okay? Al principio de la oración, like, did you? Like, did you play soccer last week? Or did Glory Bell uh, go to work yesterday? Or did Frida uh, supervise some employees yesterday? Yes, did. Yes? Okay, so that's important. Okay, so considering this, considerando esto, I need your help. Considering this, I need your help, okay? So I need your help to... Okay, since we is, you studied the past, como ustedes ya estudiaron el pasado, I need your help to complete these questions, okay? Necesito su ayuda para completar estas preguntas, usando los verbos que están acá, using these verbs. Okay, so number one, for example, is did you attend a seminar last month? What about number two? ¿Cómo quedaría la número dos? Using enjoy. Did you enjoy the seminar? Exactly. So you say, uh, did you, okay, enjoy? Enjoy. Okay. Oh my God, it's hard to write here. Okay, uh, did you, okay, uh, enjoy, right? Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you enjoy the seminar? So in case you want to complete, in case you have a copy, this is on page 24. This is on page 24 so that you can complete it, okay? In case you have the photocopy. Good. So number one is, did you enjoy the seminar? Okay, number one, did you enjoy the seminar? Number two? We use the verb meet. Did you meet new people? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. You say, did you, did you meet new people? Did you meet new people? ¿Conociste nuevas personas? Did you meet new people? All right. So this is for number three. This is in past, right? These questions are in past, okay? Let's see number four. Did you? Exactly. Did you learn something, okay? Did you, did you learn, okay? Uh, did you learn something? Did you learn something? It's like, aprendiste algo? Did you learn something? Good. It looks like my Sorry? hands, right? Uh, it looks like my hands, right? Ring. Sorry? Esa, esa letra suya, se parece a mi letra. <laughs> I promise, I promise my handwriting on a notebook is not the same, okay? Mi escritura en un cuaderno es más bonita. No, pero ahí es parece de doctor. Yes, definitely. Es que para escribir así en el táctil es bien difícil. It's very difficult for me. Yes. Okay, so uh, number four is, did you learn something? ¿Aprendiste algo? Voy a tratar de mejorarla. Okay, you say, uh, did you learn something? Okay, let's see number uh, five. Using network, que es como conectar, dijimos, co o contactar, okay? Did you? Did you, yeah? Did you? Network? No, pero... No se usa ningún auxiliar más. Did you network? Yes, exactly. In the Did okay. you network in the, in the convention? Okay, like, uh, contactaste, right? Did you network in the convention? Contactaste en la convención? Like, did you make new contacts? Como que si hiciste nuevos contactos, okay? So, did you network in the convention? Good. Now, let's go to number six. Vamos a la número seis. Go to number six. What is the question? Help me, please. I need your help. Did you? Okay. You say, did you? Did you? Exchange. 
It changed, exactly. ¿El verbo va en presente o en pasado? In present. In present, exactly. Porque estamos usando el this. So, did you exchange uh, business cards? Okay? So, just repeating the answers. Repitiendo. Number one is, did you attend? Number two, did you enjoy? Enjoy. Yes. Number three is, did you meet? Okay? Number four, did you learn something number five did you network in the convention like contactaste o con, uh, contactaste en la convención did you network in the convention and finally number six did you exchange business cards okay yeah so uh just to make sure uh that this is clear so do you have any question about that about the exercise? Do you have any question about the exercise? Or about the simple past in general? Do you have any question? No? All right. Um, creo, que, creo que ahora los asusté con la presentation porque veo bien poquitos conectados. I see a few people connected today. No están completos los grupos, right? The groups are not complete, I imagine. And the problem is that we need the simple past, okay? Necesitamos el simple past. We need the simple past. Let's do something. I will give you a brief explanation. Le voy a dar una explicación breve. I will give you a brief explanation and at the end you present. Y al final ya cuando vayan más conectados hacen su presentación, ¿les parece? Is it okay for you? Is that okay for you? Okay. Very good. So listen. Uh, in the simple past, we have... Uh, we have three important things, right? Uh, first, uh, we have sentences in positive, okay? We have sentences in, in negative, okay? And we have questions, okay? Y tenemos también preguntas. We have questions, so I'm repeating. We have positive sentences, negative sentences, and questions, okay? How do you make a positive sentence? Oh. The verb is in past. The verb va en pasado. The verb is in past. For example, I um, listen. For example, I listen. Um, oh, hold on. Just give me a second. I listen uh, to music. I listen to music um, yesterday, for example. I listen to music... Um, yesterday okay good negative for negative i use i use didn't or i can use did not okay it's up to you say the season didn't or did not it's okay all right, all right now let's see some examples so i can say i didn't Uh, I didn't, um, what, go to work. I didn't go to work um, last week. Last, last week is la semana pasada. I didn't go to work last week. No fui a trabajar la semana pasada. And finally, we have the question, okay? So in the questions, uh, we use, usamos, we use uh, did, okay? In the questions, we use did. Now let's see one example using did. You can say, for example, did you uh, did you prepare did you prepare um, for for the presentation? Did you prepare for the presentation? Te preparaste para la presentación? Did you prepare for the conversation? So basically, I use did. In the negative, I use didn't. And in the positive, I use the verb in past. En el positivo uso el verbo en pasado. I use the verb in past, okay? Now listen, ahora escuchen. Let's focus on the positive. Enfoquémonos en el positive. Let's focus on the, on the positive. So, and let's focus on regular verbs. Enfoquémonos en verbos regulares. So basically, I put ED 
or D to the verb. Básicamente le pongo D or ED al verbo. Okay? Uh, tell me one regular verb. Dígame un verbo regular. Tell me a regular verb de los que vieron ayer. Any. Sorry. Sorry. Show. Show. Pero show, show is irregular. Play. Okay, let's see play. Veamos play. Okay, for play, for example, play. Para el pasado, for the past, I say play. Okay? Play. Played. Exactly, play. Tell me another one. Dígame otro. Want to. Okay, want. Okay, want. Want in present and in past, uh, you say wanted. I wanted uh, to go to work. Yo quería ir a trabajar in past, right? I wanted to go. I wanted to go. Good. Vamos a, a la siguiente parte. Let's go to the next part. Cuando solamente le ponemos de. Can you, can you give me one example? For example, when you say dance, right? Dance. Hold on. When you say dance, bailar. Basically, right. si termina en eso, le ponemos de. Dance. Okay, another one, otro? Arrive. Arrive, yes. Arrive, que es llegar. So, I say in past, arrive, okay? Now, ahora veamos, let's see. Veamos un caso diferente. Check the verb study, por ejemplo. Veamos el verbo uh, study. ¿Qué hacemos en study? Does anybody know? ¿Alguien sabe para pasarlo a pasado? To pass it to past. Se le agrega la I, I, E, D. I, E, D. Ajá, uh -huh. and what else? ¿Qué más? Suprimimos eh, la Y. That's right. So basically, básicamente, suprimimos la Y. We kill the Y. Matamos esa Y. Ok. And, y le ponemos I, E, D. And we say study. Ok. For example, I studied uh, the presentation for today. Yo estudié la presentación para hoy. I studied the presentation for today. Okay. So, también tenemos el verbo try. Okay, hold on. We have the verb try. In this same situation, en este mismo caso, what is try? ¿Qué significa try? What is try? Intentar. Intentar. Tratar. Tratar. Okay, si se fijan, lleva una consonante y después lleva la Y. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en este caso entonces? The same, lo mismo, the same. Uh, we kill the Y, quitamos la Y, we kill the Y, y le ponemos Y de. And we say, try, like, I try to, to study for the test, ¿ok? Yo intenté, I tried. Good. This is for regular verbs. Esto es para verbos regulares. For irregular verbs, para los irregulares, for irregular verbs, Everything changes, las cosas cambian, things change. For example, the verb speak. No voy a decir, for example, um, speak. No, that's impossible. Eso es imposible. That's impossible because it's irregular. Porque ese verbo es irregular. So, the past is different. El pasado entonces cambia. The past is different. And you say, spoke, for example. Okay, speak. Spoke. Spoke is in the past. I spoke with my manager yesterday. Yo hablé con mi manager ayer, con mi gerente. Okay? Tell me another verb. Dígame otro verbo que es irregular. Give. Give, for example. Okay, thank you. I say give. In past, I say gave. Okay? I gave a speech yesterday. Okay, yo di un discurso ayer. I gave a speech yesterday. So you say gave. Okay, gave. One more example. Okay, let's see the verb meet. ¿Qué es meet? Nice to meet you. Conocer. Okay, so in past you say met. It's different, cambia. I met. Uh, different people yesterday. Yo conocí diferentes personas ayer. I met different people yesterday. But, but if you tell me, teacher, and how do I know? Profesor, ¿y cómo sé yo que es regular o irregular? Estudie los irregulares. Study the, study the irregular verbs, okay? Now, okay, so now do you have any question about the topic? 
Ya van a reforzar ustedes. You will reinforce in a moment. Anyways, okay? So do you have any question? No? Clear. Okay, now it's time for you. Es momento para ustedes. It's time for you. Let's see. Um, I have the group here, pero aquí tengo los nombres de los, de, de los integrantes. Abigail, Dinora, Juan Carlos Rivas y Nelson. We have Abigail. We don't have Dinora, right? Or is Dinora connected? Sí. Ya se conectó Dinora, ¿no, chat? No. Nelson tampoco, ¿verdad? O Nelson is connected. Oh, sí, Nelson is connected. So basically we have only Abigail and Nelson. Y Juan Carlos. Ok, solo tenemos a dos. Abigail and Nelson. Ok, for this group. For the second group, we have Beatriz, Mauricio, Oscar and Jocelyn. So we have Jocelyn. We have Beatriz. Oscar Arnulfo, I think he's connected. Yeah, Oscar Arnulfo, okay. Aquí hay tres. Then for the next, we have Frida, Juan Carlos Alas, Omar y Rocío. So we have Rocío, we have Frida, uh, Omar. Yes, we have Omar, but we don't have Juan Carlos Alas, right? Juan Carlos Alas, no. ah, yes, he's connected. Okay, good, yes. And for the last team, we have Alejandro, Jacqueline, Lisette, Galileo, Gloribel, and Maria Elena. So we have um, we have Galileo, Gloribel, we have Jacqueline Lisette, and we have Alejandro, right? Yes, casi todos están. So did you decide who is going to present? Decidieron quién va a presentar? Did you decide who is going to present? Yes? Yes. Yes. I will let you decide, okay? Dejaré que ustedes decidan. I will let you decide, okay? So let's see. Abigail, Dinora, Juan Carlos Rivas, and Nelson. Who is presenting? Quién va a presentar? Who is presenting? Okay, who is presenting? Quién va a presentar de, de Abigail, Dinora, Juan Carlos Rivas, and Nelson? And Nelson. También de lo que iba a presentar no está antes, cierto. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Pero yo dije que todos debían estar preparados, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> just in case. Sí, claro, este. Yes, in case. <laughs> Solo que como lo estábamos haciendo, bueno, una, com una compañera lo estaba haciendo en voz, si no me equivoco. ¿Verdad? Pero y no logramos terminarlo completo. Ah, ok. ¿Lo puedes presentar? Sí, sí, ya lo voy a presentar. Solo oh, pero... que estoy viendo cómo compartir okay. la presentación. Eh, Abigail, tienes que ir a share screen. Ah, okay. Allá abajo aparece compartir uh -huh. pantalla. Eso quiero ver, pero no me aparece. Y luego, es... pero... y luego buscas el documento que quieres compartir. You look for the document. Exactly. So please, everyone, let's listen to Abigail. Escuchemos a Abigail todos. Let's listen to Abigail. Let's listen to Abigail, everyone. Okay. Uh, okay. Good I'm... evening. Good, good evening. evening. Good evening. Um, our presentation is simple path. Um, concept the simple path. The simple path you say to talk about events that occur at a specific moment are ended at that moment. The form of the simple past is affirmative, um, el subject, um, no sé cómo se dice más. Plus. Plus verb, and negative subject, Mm, plus, Ajá, plus, 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 base verb. Okay. Interrogative, did, plus, subject, plus, base plus. verb. How do we for the pa simple part of regular verbs? Most verbs, A, D, D, I, D. Examples, 
the children playing football yesterday. She talked so much about you. For bears, the N E O L plus consonant double the consonant letter and I D D um R I D creo que era. Uh, example stop stop it plan planet. Uh, for bear that uh, uh, the in uh, why e, uh, why oh. after and consonant letter change why to I and I D D A D example a study a study Copy, couplet, try, try it. Some irregular verbs don't change their past simple forms. Quiet, it hurt. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Abigail. Maybe I want you to pay attention to something important. Okay, don't, don't stop sharing. No, they have to compartir. Don't stop sharing. Oh. In a stop. Uh, stop, stop, plan, plan, ok, para verbos, esta es otra regla, miren que van con, que terminan con consonante, vocal, consonante, le duplicamos la última consonante, stop, stop, for example, plan, plan, so we double the consonant, le duplicamos la consonante, si termina en consonante, vocal, consonante, ok, yeah, ok, thank you very much, Avi, Abigail, okay. thank you for your presentation. Can you stop sharing? Okay, thank you very much. Do you have any question for Abigail and Nelson? Hello, class. Do you have any question for Abigail and Nelson? Uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, when the verbs end in consonant or vowel, you say something I don't understand. Please. Oh, yeah. I said when the verb when the verb ends in consonant vowel consonant you double the last consonant okay duplica la última consonante and we have the example uh, that uh, jo, that uh, Abigail gave for ex the example is um, uh, stop for example stop as you can see the verb stops mm -hmm. finishes termina en consonant termina en consonant Vowel, consonant, ¿verdad? So, what do we do? ¿Qué hacemos entonces? What do we do? Le duplicamos la última consonante y le ponemos CD. Start. ¿Ok? We also have the example with the verb. Um, ¿Cuál es el otro verbo que diste, Abby? Remind me, please. Abigail. A plan. A plan. Plan, exactly. The verb plan. As you can see, como pueden ver, he has consonant, vowel, consonant, right? So, what do I do? ¿Qué hago? Le duplico la última consonante y le pongo ed. And, and I say plan. Okay, it's a rule. Es una regla para verbos irregulares. It's a rule for regular verbs, okay? So, uh, yes, Galileo, is it clear? Do I answer your question? Cool. So, do you have any other questions for Abigail and Nelson? No? All right, thank you, Abigail and Nelson. Great job, thank you very much. Now let's listen to, okay, from, the, from Beatriz, Mauricio, Oscar, and Jocelyn, who is going to present? Okay, oh, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz, yeah. <laughs> okay, theodocratically. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, Ana Beatriz, you can start sharing your screen. Puedes compartir tu pantalla. Okay, there you go. Ahí está. Right. Um, good evening with our group is uh, Mauricio, Oscar, Jocelyn, and me. I am going to work about complex. 
is simply plot describe past event. No sé si mira la parte de arriba. Yes, yes. We can see it. Se mira. Yo no la veo. <laughs> the past simple. Oh. Solo arrastra la barrita para que puedas ver, Beatriz. La barrita que sale herramientas, eh, arrastra la hacia abajo. Ahí te aparece la barrita arriba de herramientas. Sí, ahorita. Ah, presiónala ahorita. y la arrastras hacia abajo. Ahí está. Eh, ahí está. The past simple using to talk about in specific action the started and ending in the um, examples is the verb um, el plus ID. Uh, starting, playing, what then, rain. Haz clic encima de la presentación de la slide y ahora intenta. Ajá. Ok. Eh, el simple past tense o simple past of a verb can be a structure is in affirmative, negative or question. For in the affirmative for uh, the bear, when is regular is at the end, the endings. And then for the negative, the bears remains in the infinity, thus in with Q. The sentence affirmative, a uh, payen, you payet, he payet, she payet, it payet, with payet. And you buy it. And they buy it. And sentence is negative. It did buy. You did, did not buy. Help did not buy. She did not buy it. Is and we do it. Eight. And question. And did I buy? Did you buy? It? And this sheet paint is uh, did we pay? Did you pay? Is on uh, the birds complex. Is an um, example. I'm finding the burning and the kitchen. No, chicken. As a kitchen. Me confundo con pollo y cocina. And es, es este answer a, a question in classroom is uh, finished. Okay, thank you very much. Leave the presentation. Deja la presentación. Leave the presentation, please. Okay, so listen. Right. Uh, the, uh, Ana Beatriz, explanation is very important. Okay, so basically, ahí déjala, ahí donde está ahorita. Leave it there, please, Ana Beatriz. Ahí déjala. Okay, it says. Uh, so for uh, we have three forms: affirmative, negative, and question. Right? In the affirmative, yeah. the verb is in the present. Okay? In, in the past, sorry. En el afirmativo, el verbo va en pasado. Es en la única forma en que el verbo va en pasado. In the negative, en el negativo, el verbo va normal. Is in present, va en presente. And we put didn't. Y le ponemos el didn't. I didn't play. You didn't play. He didn't play. Blah blah blah. In the question, yeah. we put did. Le ponemos el did y el verbo va en presente. The verb is in present. And you say, did I play? Did you play soccer? Did he play the guitar? Did she play the piano? All right? Yeah. Okay, so basically that. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Can you stop sharing, please? Can you stop sharing your screen? Ahí dice stop sharing o dejar de compartir. Oh, oh, let me share. Oh. En la barrita que aparece arriba dice dejar de compartir. No sé dónde tienes la barrita ahorita. Ahorita. Si gusta, cierra. 
Ajá, en la barrita de herramientas. Did you find it? ¿Lo encontraste? ¿No? No sé si todavía funciona. Ah, aquí está. Ok, ya, ya lo iba a hacer yo. I was about to do it. Ok. Uh, thank you, Ana Beatriz. So, do you have any question uh, for Ana Beatriz, Mauricio, Oscar, or, and Jocelyn? Do you have any question for them? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta para ellos? Do you have any question for them? No? No questions? Ok, so if you have no questions, then let's give them thumbs up. Vamos a reactions y demos le thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up. Ok, so please go to reactions and give them thumbs up. Ok, thank you. Um, Beatriz, Mauricio, Oscar, and Jocelyn. Ok, let's go to the next group. In the next group, we have Frida, Juan Carlos Salas, Omar, and Rocío. Ok, so who is going to present? Indeed, oh, ok, I think somebody's, oh, Frida is sharing. Ok, Frida is presenting, I imagine. Frida, are you presenting? Yeah. Yes, right. Ok, go ahead. Adelante. Ok, give me a tip. Now, this is a simple, simple past. The simple past is a verb that is used to talk about the thing that happened or exercise before now. And for regular verbs, you have D or ED at the end of the verb. For example, wanted, stayed, walked, showed. Uh, in irregular verbs, have a different word for the past tense. In the, uh, for example, go, went, have, have, make, made, be, begin, no sé cómo se pronuncia la otra, begun, began, began, fin, found. Uh, in the, for Questions and negative sentence, you have to use the auxiliary P. In this case, if, for example, did you finish the presentation? No, I did not finish. And did you enjoy the seminar? No, I did not enjoy the seminar. Estoy poniendo como la pregunta y la respuesta en, en Did you make new contacts? No, I did not new contacts. Only that. El make falta ahí nada más en el... No, I did not, I did not make new contacts, ¿ok? Sorry. Ya, yeah, it's ok, no problem, ¿ok? Good, so leave the presentation there. Deja ahí la presentación. Leave the presentation there, please. Ok, okay. very good. Um, it's basically the same information, right? For the equations, we use did. For the negative, we use did not or didn't, right? And for the positive, we use the verb in past, ¿ok? Usamos el verbo en pasado en el positivo, ¿ok? So thank you very much, Frida. Can you stop sharing, please? Okay, sorry. Thank you. Okay, uh, so do you have any questions for Frida, Juan Carlos Salas, Omar, and Rocio? Do you have any question for them? Do you have any question about their presentation? Or there are no questions? Oh, no, okay, thank you. So let's go to reactions and let's give them thumbs up. Please go to reactions and you can give them thumbs up, okay? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Frida, Juan Carlos, eh, Alan, Omar, and Rocio. Thank you very much for your presentation. And now let's, oh, Jimmy. Hola, Jimmy. Hello, sir. Hola, hola, hola. Hola, buenas noches. No sé si, Dios, veo que estaba así como saludando. No sé si tienes algún comentario que hacerles a ellos. No, no. Solo ah, okay. estoy monitoreando. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, now let's see. Um, we have Alejandro, Jacqueline, Galileo, Gloribel, and Maria Elena, right? Who is going to present from this group? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline Gloribel. All right, so uh, Gloribel, you can share your screen in this moment. Good evening. Good evening. I talk about the simple past. 
simple past is Uset. Oye, Gloribel, Gloribel, I just to, for you to make your presentation bigger, para que hagas más grande la presentación, ahí en la barrita de abajo aparece como un icono, así como un vasito, una copa. <ríe> ahí puedes hacer clic y la vas a hacer grande. And you can make it bigger. Haz clic ahí en ese vasito. Ahí estaba en el vasito. Ahí fuiste al vasito ahorita. Ahí. So click on it. Ok, ver. Ok. Continue, please. Concept. Simple pass is used to talk about a concrete action than beginning and ending as. The simple pass is used to regular and irregular verbs. The auxiliary did is used to negative and interrogative sentences. Positive sentences and regular verbs. The simple past describe past events. Who said the regular verbs in the E, D, D for base form for positive sentences. Negative sentences. For negative sentences, don't direct. And the E, D, D, base for of the verb. Oh, okay, go back, please. Uh, Gladivel, sorry for the interruption. Uh, go back to the previous press, to the previous slide. Vea la, a la diapositiva previa. So in this my case, you have, teacher, you, have, you have don't and didn't, okay? My bar is, is wrong side. Uh, Sorry? It's my best teacher. I, I, yo me equivoqué en oh, la okay. escritura. Yeah, 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 it's okay. It's okay, no problem. But I want to say, I mean, for everybody to see, right? It's important, okay? So in this case, when you say for negative sentences, you use didn't, okay? El don't es para el presente simple, okay? Yo pensé que aquí la intención era como preguntarles a los compañeros si era don't or didn't, okay? But the correct form is didn't. Usamos el didn't or, or el did not, okay? Okay, continue, please, Gloria. Sorry for the interruption. Interrogative sentences. For interrogative sentences, use the auxiliar did at the beginning of the sentence and the principal verb. Don't change for from its original form. Regular verbs examples. Want, wanted. Learn, learn it. Stay, stay it. Walk, work, enjoy, enjoy it. As sentences, did you make new contacts? My father did. Die. Die. Die last year. We crossed the river on a boat. Did we buy the dinner? Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so go to the previous slide, please. I can't in this diapositiva. So here we have questions and sentences, right? The questions are, did you make new contacts? And did you buy dinner? Okay. Y las oraciones positivas, my father died last year and we crossed the river on a boat. Okay. Thank you, Gloribel. Thank you very much for your presentation. Can you stop sharing, please? Okay, everyone. Uh, so, do you have any questions for uh, Gloribel, Alejandro, Galileo, Maria, and Jacqueline? Do you have any questions for them? No questions for them? Okay, so if you have no questions, then let's go to reactions and let's celebrate. Okay, let's give them thumbs up. Go to reactions and give them thumbs up for their presentation, okay? Uh, Somebody is... Is showing a different reaction there. Okay, so that's that's okay. It's like party time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So thank you very much for your presentations and just a quick question before we go to another activity. Um. Do you have any question about the simple past? So if you have a question, you can ask in this moment. 
Do you have any question about the simple past? No, teacher, in my case, not. You don't have any question, Galileo. So what about the rest? What about the others? No, it's very clear. Teacher, yes. I have a question. Okay, Rocio. Como uh, um, los verbos irregulares, sí o sí fijo, hay que literal memorizarlos. Yes. <laughs> yes, there's no other way. I'm sorry to say this, but there's no other way. That, I mean, mm. that I know, I mean, or a, a, a way that I know is not possible. The only way is to memorize them, okay? Memorize. To memorize them, okay. it's the only way. I mean, and it's easier, <laughs> it's easier to memorize the irregular verbs, okay? Es más fácil memorizar los irregulares porque son menos. Si van a los regulares, les van a aparecer como 1,200 quizás, pero igual. No todos, ¿ok? Algunos son comunes y algunos que no, quizás unos 200 son comunes, ¿ok? But, why, why am I saying this? Porque estoy diciendo que es, más, es mejor memorizar los irregulares, porque son menos. Y si se saben los irregulares y aparece alguno que, que, que no está dentro de los que han estudiado, obviamente es regular porque ese no pertenece a los que ya estudiaron, ¿ok? Y que en any of them, puede ser, I don't know. Um, Pero... Por, por ejemplo, si, como, quizás es bien básica la pregunta, eh, ¿cómo diferencia un verbo regular de un irregular? De ed, la ed. De ed. No, 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 eh, en su forma, en su forma básica. Mm, what do you mean in the present? Me present? imagino que la pregunta de ella es uh -huh. ¿Cómo reconocer sí. un verbo irregular de uno regular? Yes. It is the same answer, basically. Memorizando los 200. Yes. Uh -huh. Es la misma respuesta. It's the same okay. answer. Yes. So, so I, I would like, or I would like to give you another answer, but there's no other answer, okay? Me gustaría darles okay. una respuesta diferente, but there's no other answer, okay? It's the only one. Es la única. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe what can relax, is you, relax you a little bit, tal vez lo que los puede relajar un poco es que ya si lo van a estudiar en serio, si se van al listado, if you go to the list, hay algunos verbos que son lo mismo en presente y en pasado. And they are irregular. And they are irregular y son irregulares. Por ejemplo, for example, the verb put. Put is poner. You say put in the present and put in the past. In the past. Yes, cut. For example, cut, cortar, cut. So it's cut in the present and it's cut in the past. Okay, es lo mismo, it's the same. Or hit. Hit is like golpear. So hit, you say hit in the present and hit in the past. Hay algunos que no cambian. Y tal vez, and maybe, hay algunos que siguen casi raíces diferentes. Okay? O, o que se conjuguen casi de la misma manera. Okay? Por ejemplo, algunos que terminan en ben, drive, um, algunos que terminan en ove, perdón, drive, drove, ok? It's one example, ok? Right, road, son que, que van casi parecidos, they're kind of similar, ok? But, the, but, but here, the only way is to memorize them. La única forma es memorizarlos. That's the only way, ok? La pregunta so era you... porque pensé que había otra forma, o sea, no sé, o alguna regla, algo. Sinceramente, como un yes. concepto, quizás, teacher, como un concepto, yes. o sea, vaya, por ejemplo, los regulares tienen esta característica, los irregulares esta. Oh, ajá, sí, de, de hecho, sí, hay una. Hay, in fact, in fact, no he visto muy, no, no, no lo he visto así como en detalle, pero hay un material que sí tiene unas reglas, pero no son muy acertadas, que digamos. They're not very assertive, ¿ok? Pero les puede ayudar, but it can help you. But I need to look for it, necesito buscarlo, I need to look for it. Porque este material okay. yo nunca lo he compartido con mis estudiantes. I, can, I have never shared. But I can look for it. El millón de chévere que hizo tiempo el desalmado. I'm sorry about that. The question is, who invented Spanish? <laughs> la, pregunta, la pregunta para los gringos es, ¿quién se inventó el español? Porque para ellos sí es a headache. Okay, literally. Yes, Galileo. En mi poco conocimiento que tengo acerca del inglés, hasta hoy no he encontrado otra forma más que memorizarlos. Nada yes. más. 
That's what I think. Yes, it's about practice and memorization, okay? Memorization and practice, memorization and practice, memorization and practice, okay? Here, sinceramente, sincerely, sinceramente, a mí me gustaría decirles que se los aprendan y les voy a hacer un examen oral, pero lastimosamente los exámenes ya están estipulados en, en inglés corporativo, okay? So, I mean, it's up to you. Depende de ustedes. It's all up to you. Si quieren saber verbos irregulares, depende de ustedes. Ahí se mandaron, ahí mandaron una lista al grupo, ¿verdad? They sent a list. So you can go sí, check it out. Oscar Arnulfo, ¿verdad? Yes, I think it was Oscar Arnulfo. Yeah, he did it. Thank you, Oscar Arnulfo. <laughs> okay, very good. So um, then I said that's the only way. Es la única forma. That's the only way. Okay? So uh, any other question about the simple past? <clears throat> Do we have any other question about the simple past? No? All right, so if you have no more questions, then uh, let's go to the next activity. So look, uh, in the next activity, uh, we, have, uh, these, uh, we have these questions, okay? So question number one is, what's small talk? What's small talk, okay? This word, what's small talk? And then, um, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? So you, right? Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Like, do you consider you are good at talking? Que son buenos para socializar. Are you good at talking, conversing? And you say, why? Okay? So basically, um, a small talk is like a conversation that is not important, okay? A small talk is a conversation that is not important. And it happens between two people who don't know each other, okay? Y se da normalmente entre personas que no se conocen. It happens between two people who don't know each other, okay? So that's a small talk. So two questions. Number one, what's a small talk? Number two, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Why? For example, if you ask me, teacher, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? I say, oh, yes, I do. Why, teacher? Ah, oh, you say, because I like to socialize with people. I like to ask them questions. I like to speak with them. I like to share time with my friends and blah, blah, blah. Okay? Yeah? So please, take three minutes and answer the questions. Tomemos tres minutos para contestar las preguntas. Take three minutes to answer the questions, please. The questions are on page 25, okay? They are on page 25. So the questions are on page 25, okay? So take some time to answer the questions. Just remember, if you say you are a good conversationalist, you need to explain why. All right, you need to explain why you consider that you are a good conversationalist.
teacher. Uh, I'm sorry, but... Yes, tell me. Tell me, Galileo. I'm not sure if we need to talk about the last uh, phrase you consider inappropriate. No, or yes. The last what? Phrase. In the, in the activity. No, no, no. I mean, it's okay. It, it's okay in the in the presentation. Yeah. No, no. I mean, the problem is that in the past we don't use don't. Okay. We use didn't. Are you talking about that? Uh, no. Hablo sobre la la pres. Uh, no. Lo no siento. <clears throat> es sobre la actividad. Hay tres preguntas, pero abajo dice uh, you consider inappropriate. No sé si no, 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 fíjese, tenemos que hablar respecto no, no. a esa línea, simplemente la copia. No, 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 not that part. That part is not in the questions. Eso no va en las preguntas. That's not on the questions. That's another activity. Okay, that's, a, that's another activity. Thank you. All right. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes, so in the meantime, I will, I will pass you the attendance, okay? Mientras terminan los demás, les pasaré asistencia. I will pass you the attendance, okay? So let's see Alejandro Antonio. Present teacher. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Christian Lazo. I think he's connected, but he's not. There. Okay. Christian Lasso. Ember Giovanni. Frida. Present. Jacqueline Lisset. Here. Juan Carlos Alas. Okay. Yeah, he's present. Juan Carlos Rivas, he's not present, right? He didn't get connected today. Okay. Carla Yanet, no. Eunice. Maria Elena. Present. Yeah, she's connected. Mauricio Antonio. Mauricio Antonio. Nelson. <clears throat> Nelson. I'm here. Okay. Omar Francisco. I'm here. Present. Okay. Yes, yes, Nelson. I put you the attendance already. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto. Rocío Lourdes. Present. Uh, Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jacqueline. Uh, Jocelyn, sorry. Jocelyn, sorry. Jocelyn. I'm here. Yesenia. Present. Okay, it's good to see you, Yesenia. Uh, Dinora. Dinora didn't get connected. She couldn't get connected. Right. Okay, and Jose Galileo. Present. Okay, thank you very much. So um, <clears throat> are you ready to answer the questions? Is everyone ready? Yes. Yes? All right. So uh, let's see. I will, I will display the, uh, the, the uh, let me go to the questions quickly, sorry. So question number one is, what small talk do you consider yourself a good conversationalist and why? All right, three questions. So Rocio, uh, what small talk, Rocio? Um, I'll talk. Uh, it's a short conversation. It's a short conversation that is not important, okay? That is not important, okay? Thank you, Rocio. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist, Rocio? Um, often, uh, often. It, often. It depends, uh, often. It depends the other person. Ah, good. I see. It depends on the other person. So if the other person is a good conversationalist, you are a good conversationalist. <laughs> uh, everything is so. <laughs> yeah, it's right. Okay, so uh, so why do you say that? Uh, uh, because I only begin in the conversation. I break the break 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 ice. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Mm. Uh, and they show and, and they show 
continue the conversation. Okay, so so basically you, uh -huh. you only start the conversation, but for you it's difficult to continue the conversation. No. No. No sé cómo traducirlo. Sí, pero no, me, no se me dificulta continuar la conversación. Pero ah. si la otra persona es como, ay, ¿qué tal? Que no sé qué. Bien. Ok. Y ah. no sé qué. Y lo que... Sí. I, y, I o know, sea, es muy básica. Entonces uno dice, ok, no quiero platicar. Ah, ok. I, I got you. I got you. So, uh, what, what you're saying is that maybe some, sometimes uh, the other person doesn't want to talk, right? The other person doesn't want to talk. Mm. So you just stop the conversation and you go away and you look for another person yes okay thank you rocio thank you very much uh, can you ask can you select a partner and ask the questions please rocio yes um ana beatriz okay Hello. Ask, ask her the questions. Ana Beatriz, what, what small talk? Is that sometimes it is not very important. And do you consider yourself a good conversa, 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 no, no puedo, teacher. ¿Cómo so, se dice? You say conversational, conversationalist, conversationalist. Conversationalist. Yes, do you I consider do. yourself a good conversationalist. Yes, uh, why, I do. Ana Beatriz? Is a light socializing in remote person or the company? Okay, you like socializing, Ana Beatriz? Right. Do you like? Do you like socializing? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Ana Beatriz. Solo antes de que Ana Beatriz le pregunte a alguien más. Eh, me sorprende que veo que hay algunos que entran y les paso la asistencia y se van rápido. Solo que les paso la asistencia, se desconectan. ¿Ok? Algunos no sé si están o ya se volvieron a conectar. Vaya, pero escuchen. Eso es, eso es muy importante porque, o sea, aunque yo les pase asistencia, yo llevo un registro que es mío. Y este registro lo vacío en el... En, en, el, en, el, en el registro que, 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 que suben a Google Drive, ¿ok? Y en ese registro no se puede mentir. Lo sorprendente es que en ese registro les cuentan los minutos. O sea que no importa que usted me diga presente y luego se salga porque allá, aunque usted me haya dicho presente, le va a contar cuántos minutos estuvo conectado en la clase. Y eso, y eso lo hace Zoom directamente para cada uno de ustedes, ¿ok? Si estuvo conectado 20 minutos, los 20 minutos les cuenta. No les cuenta que estuvieron conectados toda la clase. Okay. Es, es para que lo sepan. Y quizás ya lo sabían, pero recalcarlo. Okay. O sea, no es que si entran 30 minutos y yo paso asistencia, me dicen present y se desconectan, les aparece ya como la clase, como que estuvieron toda la clase. No. Okay. Solo les aparecen los minutos que estuvieron conectados. Y al final, y, y al final, le va sumando todos esos minutos y le va, resta y le va restando, le va restando y le va restando hasta el punto que pueden bajar del 80%, ¿ok? Por solo conectarse minutos a veces. Así que eso les puede afectar directamente. Yo sé que quizás algunos de los que entraron y pasé asistencia se desconectaron ya no están, pero bueno, es, es importante, si ya lo sabían, es importante recalcarlo. It's important to say it again, ¿ok? Así que, así que al menos de los que estamos aquí, yo sé que no lo, no lo hacen, ¿ok? But it's important for you to know it. Pero es importante que lo sepan. It's important for you to know it, okay? So, uh, Ana Beatriz, can you ask, uh, can you select a partner? ¿Puedes elegir un compañero? Yes, Oscar Anuls. Oscar Anuls, what is my talk? Uh, uh, it's a short conversation with the other people, a different topic, not, not very important. All right. Do you consider in your field as good conversionalists? No, I don't. Right. I don't speak. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. I, I forgot my microphone was off. So thank you very much, Ana Beatriz and Oscar Arnulfo. Okay, so Oscar Arnulfo, can you select an, a partner and ask the questions, please? Okay, no problem. Omar Francisco. Okay. Omar, what is a small talk? I have your question, different topic. Okay. Do you want to consider yourself a good conversionalist? No, I don't. Why? My occupation in the job. Okay. okay. So, so uh, Omar, what uh, Omar, what you're saying is that in your occupation, you don't yes. need to be you don't need to be a good conversationalist. Yes. No. My college in the job. Is, okay. Uh, trabajo, más que todo. okay, related to work. Okay, but okay, yeah. but but the, the question uh, in your work, let's talk about your job in the company you work. In the company you work, are you you right? Are you a good conversationalist, Omar? Is so 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 uh, so a, a little. You don't talk very much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, Very yes, good. Yes. Sure. Okay. okay. You can say maybe a little. Okay. I speak a little. Yo hablo un poco nada más. I speak a little. Yes. Okay. Very yes, good. Sir. Okay. Thank you, Omar. And thank you, Oscar Arnulfo. All right. And thank you, everybody, for, for taking the time to answer the questions. Okay. So um, I know everybody answered the questions. And I know everybody has the answers for the questions. Okay. So thank you very much. Now, um, Let's take the two minutes. En este momento tomemos los dos minutos, pero tomen los dos minutos, por favor. Take the two minutes, porque cuando regresemos vamos a hacer equipos de trabajo y todos necesitamos estar conectados, ¿ok? So let's take two minutes. Go for coffee or for to the bathroom or whatever. So let's take two minutes. Tomemos dos minutos. Let's take two minutes. Okay, we have uh, 10 seconds. Tenemos 10 segundos. We have 10 seconds, so please come back. <clears throat> okay, time is over. All right, uh, so listen, listen up. So <clears throat> in this part of the material, in this part of the material, we have some topics, okay? Uh, these topics are, um, let me uh, do something here quickly. Okay, so we have some topics, okay? These topics or questions, okay? We have some questions or topics. These questions or topics are for a small talk, but some topics are appropriate and some topics are inappropriate, okay? I repeat, some topics of these 
are appropriate, appropriate, and other topics are inappropriate in a small talk. Now, now um, for you, which of these topics, cuáles de estos temas son apropiados para una uh, plática corta, for a small talk, for a short talk? Or which, which questions are appropriate for a small talk? Are you enjoying the seminar? Sorry? Are you enjoying the seminar? Exactly. That's a good question for a small talk. Are you enjoying the, the seminar? Okay, very good. That's excellent. Are you enjoying the seminar is a good question. Another good question for a, for a small talk. Is your company near the Trade Center? Good. Is your company near the Trade Center? Is a good question too, okay? What is Trade Center? ¿Qué es Trade Center? Centro Financiero. Centro de Negocios, okay? El Centro de Negocios. Good. So Trade Center, Centro de Negocios. So your is your company near the Trade Center? So one last question. Una última pregunta. What is a good question for a small talk? Are you making good money? In the... mm. What do you think? No. Do you think this is a good question? Not right, because it's kind of impolite. Okay? De alguna manera es como que es inapropiada o descortés. It's impolite or inappropriate. So another question? Does that your job require a lot of travel? travel? Can, you can you repeat it, please? Does your job? Does your job require a lot? Yes, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, does your job require a lot of travel? Is a good question for a good for a for a small talk. Do we have another one? Tenemos más. Do, do we you, have another? Do you enjoy outdoors activities? Good, because it's not important, right? Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Good. Do we have any, any other? Tenemos alguna otra? What are some of your responsibility at Red Inn? Good. What are some of your responsibilities at Rex Inc? Good. Now let's see. Now let's check some questions which are inappropriate. Inappropriate, inappropriate. Can you tell me some, please? Pueden decirme algunas? Can you tell me some? This In one is these politicians are disaster. What do you think? Exactly. This is inappropriate. It's inappropriate. These politicians are a disaster. What do you think? Another one, Otra? Does your job require a lot? Oh, no. no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Is, uh, are you make good money in your job? Yes, this is inappropriate. Esa es inapropiada. Are you making good money in your job? Estás haciendo buen dinero en tu trabajo? So it's inappropriate. What is the next? ¿Cuál es la siguiente? What is the next? I work for a, a tyrant. Yes. What about you? What about you? I work for a tyrant. What about you? All right. What is tyrant? Tirano. Tirano, despota. Es un despota, right? That's a tyrant, okay? Very good. So basically here, uh, we have some questions uh, for a small talk. We have good topics and we have inappropriate topics or inappropriate questions, right? Good questions and inappropriate questions. Very good. Did you check on your material? ¿La, la verificaron ahí si tienen la fotocopia en su material? ¿Le pusieron chequecito? No. Los que tienen material, the ones who have a material? No. No. Yes. Okay. So basically, um, for, the good, uh, for the good topics, we have this one. Uh, we have this one. We have uh, this one. This one. Um, this one. And basically that's right. And for the inappropriate topics, para los inapropiados, for the inappropriate topics, tenemos, we have this one. This one and this one, okay? Para que puedan verificarlos ahí, so you can check. <clears throat> so the crosses are good topics and the checks are inappropriate topics, okay? okay. 
Michelle, solo yes. que en relación a lo que está diciendo eh, la información, en realidad el chequecito debería de ser para las apropiadas y las X deberían de ser para las inapropiadas. Oh, yes, you're right. Tienes razón, you're right. Because of the instruction, por la intrusión. El chequecito es para los good topics y la crucita es para los inappropriate topics. No lo había visto. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ay, si ya lo hicimos así, no importa. No, no, it's okay, it doesn't matter. Ustedes saben ahí, así como lo hicimos, ustedes saben cómo tienen el registro. You know how you have the, the registration. Nosotros oh. sabemos nuestro desorden. Sorry? Nosotros sabemos nuestro desorden. Yes, and me too. Uh, all, all, key book are, all key book are perfectionists. Really? Uh, can you all repeat? Bookkeeper are, all bookkeepers are perfectionists. Oh, really? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm sure. You're Por sure. eso la, la, la aprobación y la corrección que hizo el compañero. Yes, because they know about numbers, right? Uh, they say that they are very, they are very exact. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, uh, so let's go to the next activity. So listen, here we will work in groups. Vamos a trabajar en equipos. You will do two things. Van a hacer dos cosas. You will do two things. First, primero, First, on these spaces, en estos espacios, on these spaces, you will write three more good topics. Tres temas más o tres preguntas más que son buenas for a short talk or for a small talk, okay? Your own questions, sus propias preguntas, your own questions, okay? One, two, three. Three more questions for good, top, for good uh, topics in a small talks, okay? Tres preguntas más para, para temas buenos, ¿verdad? O positivos en una plática corta, en a small talk, ¿ok? And then, after that, después de eso, after that, you will check this conversation, ¿ok? You will check this conversation. And, and uh, you will, um, let's see here, be, using this conversation as an example, usando esta conversación como un ejemplo, You will prepare a short conversation like this one. Van a, van a preparar una como esta. You will prepare a conversation like this. And use different topics to initiate a small talk. Van a usar diferentes preguntas de las que ya vimos. Use different questions from the ones we started. No van a decir, por ejemplo, oh, where is the conference? No, use another question. No usen otra pregunta. Use another question. Okay? Do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? This is on page 25. Eso está en la página 25. This is on page 25. So, do you have any question? Just to repeat. Write three more questions for good talks. Second, check this conversation and write here your own conversation. Prepare your conversation, your personal conversation, and use different questions, okay? de la de arriba. Usen diferentes preguntas de la de arriba. Use different questions from the questions above, okay? Good. So do you have any questions before we start? I will give you uh, 10 minutes for this. I will give you 10 minutes for this activity. Like 10 or 12 minutes, okay? So, no questions? No questions? No question. Okay, let's go to work in pairs then. Vamos a trabajar en parejas entonces. Let's go to work in pairs. Maria Elena, are you going to participate?
I waiting for Maria Elena. She doesn't answer, right? I was I was calling her too. Yeah, she's Hello. back. Oh yeah. Hola, 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 ya lo logré. Lista. Espera. Espera. Me perdí, me perdí un buen rato. Pero ya, 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 ya se encontró, no hay problema. Anda muy lejos. <risa> Había tres preguntas. Bueno, esa, en esa estaba. What is my talk? Esa. O sea, sí, ya, ya prácticamente ya pasamos eso. Ahora vamos a hacer, bueno, vamos a escribir tres ideas o tres preguntas de cosas buenas de las que podamos conversar. Sí. No, ah. Por ejemplo, si le gusta la música, ahí está el teacher ya. Explíquele, teacher, explíquele. <laughs> you can do it, you listen to the explanation. <laughs> okay, uh, so Maria, basically, uh, Maria, uh, basically, uh, what you will do is that you will uh, prepare, you will prepare a conversation, okay? Uh, this conversation needs to include these questions. Pueden usar estas preguntas, these questions, okay? These questions here. Aquí van a crear tres preguntas más. You create three more questions en las tres cuadritos de acá, in the three charts, okay? Así como estas, tres preguntas que son buenas para iniciar una conversación. To, to start a small talk, okay? Y luego hacen la conversación. Then you write the conversation. Using the questions. Using all the questions. Usando, bueno, using some questions. Usando algunas preguntas. Using some questions. And this is your model. Este es el modelo que van a seguir. This is the model you will follow. Okay? okay. It's on page 25. Okay. Do you So, Christian, did you prepare your conversation or you are writing the questions? Uh, all right, in the question. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, teacher, ¿cómo escucha esta pregunta? Uh, bueno, no sé si se oye muy como inappropriate. Okay. Oh, it's appropriate. Uh, it's appropriate. A... Okay, say it. What is your guilty pressure? What is your guilty pressure? It depends on what you mean. Like, what do you want to say by guilty pressure? I know, I know the meaning in Spanish, but what is the purpose of the question? ¿Cuál es el propósito? El propósito es eh, qué es lo que te hace sentir placentero. Algo así quise ponerlo yo, pero creo que está mal. The things that the things that guilty is culpable. Ajá, verdad que no, no, no es así. O sea, no, no, it's not something positive. No, ¿verdad? No. Okay. Entonces la voy a armar. Maybe, 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 
A pleasant can be the word pleasant. Pleasant sí es placentero, agradable, pleasant. A pleasant, ok. Yes. Ok, la voy a estructurar de diferente manera, mejor. Yes. Ok, muchas gracias. How often do you travel? Oh, okay. How often do you travel? How many times do you want to travel? How many? What do you think to continue studying? How often do you travel? How often do you travel? Teacher, está bien esta pregunta. How often do you travel? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. How often, how often do you travel? It's okay. Yeah. It's a good question. It's a good question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you travel in a water? How do you mean to travel? Mucha frecuencia. Okay. La siguiente actividad, teacher, es conversar el modelo de, bueno, practicar el modelo de conversación que está en el párrafo, ¿verdad? No, yeah, no, the idea is to study, okay, that conversation and to prepare your own conversation. To prepare oh. your conversation. Uh -huh. The idea is to prepare your conversation. Oh, preparen. conversation like uh, it's, it's activity, let me, let, me, let me show you, déjame compartirte. It's, um, mm -hmm. Basically, it's uh, this activity. It's yeah. this activity. This activity. Exactly. But this activity, okay, to make this activity, you need to study the conversation. Van a revisar la conversación. You need to study the conversation, okay? Okay, excelente. Ahora... And you will use the questions above. Y van a usar las preguntas de arriba para hacer la conversación to, uh, to make the questions, okay? Excelente. Or, or the questions you are writing in this moment. O las preguntas que están escribiendo en ese momento, okay? Okay. Excelente, excelente. Ok. Yesenia me dice si usted tiene sus preguntas. Solo, solo estoy haciendo la letra eh, como desplazarse de un lugar a otro. Su trabajo requiere... Ajá. Entonces, si lo pudiéramos poner. That your house requiere móvil from a place. No sé. De un lugar a otro. Ajá. Vamos a ver cómo nos dice. Estaría bien esa, eh, Nelson. Your... Sí, está bien. Dice. Sería entonces. Your, your, your job requiere móvil. From one place to another, así. ¿Qué? Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero al inicio sí, tu, tu trabajo That's requiere, your... solamente sí. Your how? Das. Das o? Das. 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 Das, sí. Ah, entonces, your. How. Requiere moving from a place. 
Moving. Uh, moving. Moving from a one. Aquí lo tengo. A one plus to another, ¿verdad? A place. Ahí lo está escribiendo el teacher. Ah, ok, gracias. Ah, yo, yo se lo estaba escribiendo. <ríe> no, el teacher. <ríe> ok, Vaya. Y la tercera. Eh, podría ser como que si disfrutamos de lo que nosotros hacemos en el trabajo. No sé. Me parece. <coughs> Sería entonces tú. Disfruta, hacerse, va. Enjoy. Disfruta de lo que trabajo. And working. Sería así. Enjoy working. Enjoy working. Okay. Preguntamos directamente. No, pues. Uh, well, dice recording in progress. Pues tal vez. <laughs> <laughs> ahí viene, ahí viene. Preguntémosle. No, podríamos agregarle tal vez. Si yo, por ejemplo, le digo. Eh, que the, the office. No, the, the human resource office. Is in third level, for example, third level. Ah, uh, yo te podría decir, ah, uh, o, o podría decirme vos aquí, ¿verdad? ¿Qué está haciendo? He or she is waiting. No sé si está correcto. For you. O sea, me está primero chequeas. Yo te digo gracias después. He's waiting for you. Uh, y yo te digo. Esperando. Ajá. Ajá. O sea, él está ya esperando. Ya chequeó. Ya chequeaste y me decís, está esperando. Yo te digo, please let me know where, where are or where is the chair? Where is. I don't know uh, what you, what you want. Human resource, human resources department. Then you say what is, because what is, you are talking yeah. about because you are talking about the department. You say, uh -huh. do you know where? Where is there? Es uno solo. Mm, in this case, um, in this case, uh, you say please let me know where human resources department is. El is is at uh -huh. the end. Al final, is at the end. Yeah. It, that is in all uh, question. Yes. It, it is at the end. That's right. That, that, that's that's uh, reported. Yeah, reported. We are talking about reported speech. Yeah. And and, and you need to say the HR department. D. Okay. Because it's, it's something specific. Let me know where the HR. Okay. D. T H E. The HR department is the department. exactly the same. The same for it's the same for yes. I have a meeting with the human resources manager. The, the human resources above, arriba. I have a meeting yeah. with uh -huh. the human resources manager. With the human resources. In meeting, meeting is with one T. Meeting is with one T, not with double T. Okay. I got. It. Okay, continue. Okay. Please let me know where the human resource Let me know where the human resource is. Ahí vos me puedes, ¿qué me dirías? It's in the uh, first floor. It's in the first or in the third floor. Third, uh-huh. You can say yeah. third or first. Third or first. Uh-huh. Uh, third. 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 You can say third. third. It's, third. it's uh -huh. in. On. On, on the third floor. On, on, on the first. On the first. Siempre tengo problemas con el. 
Is it is it right? Is good. Third. Uh, maybe third. Um, uh, sí, third. Más in th. Huh? No, third is with D at the end. No lleva th. It has no th. Third. No lleva. No. Termina con lleva, D. Exactly. Exactly. It finishes with D. It ends with D. Third. Yes. Ah, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. ah. It's on the third floor. Third. Okay. Yo te digo thanks. Thanks. Ahí está. Ahí está. What do you think about it, teacher? It's great. It's great. Okay. Now take a, now now take some time to practice the conversation. Okay. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Esta es nuestra conversación. Bueno, aquí se le puede cambiar de color para que esté el nota. No. Ah, eso podría ser. De que para estarlo traveseando lo voy a borrar. Ok. This is not uh, our small conversation. The, the, hello, uh, sorry. The conversation is no. okay. The, the conversation is okay. It's just that I feel that it's too, too direct. Okay, the conversation is like too direct. Okay, like for example, the, the, the conversation is supposed to be between two people who don't know each other. Okay, para personas que no se conocen. We say, good okay. morning. Do you know where is the nearest coffee shop? Oh, yes, just around the corner. Okay, thank you. Do you want to go with me? It's like... <laughs> Hey, you pensé que se conocía a ti. Ah, ah, ok, ok. It's okay. If they know each other, está bien. Si se conocen, está bien. If they know each other, it's ok. Ok. Si se conocen, vaya. Se, ah. se encontraron afuera. <laughs> ok. Se encontraron afuera del trabajo. Ok. <laughs> Ahí voy a meter a un desconocido a un café. <laughs> no, lo que quería era romper el hielo y así lo invitar a comer. <laughs> Por más que intenta no puede ser la más grande, lo siento. Y si selecciona solo así el, el párrafo de la... donde están las letras, así, así, no se puede. Mi, mi compu es la que no quiere. No quiere colaborar mi compu. ¿Por qué no lo hacen en Word? Sí, es que lo que estábamos haciendo ahí mismo porque para... Ahí está, ahí está, se seleccionó todo. Es que, es que está trabada. <risa> Necesito que me den una nueva componente de trabajo. No puedo. Ahí está. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Oh, a nice day. Thank you. Yeah, you viene el, you're welcome. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Ya tenemos la conversación. Oh, you're ready. Okay, so did you practice? No. Acabamos okay. de terminar. Oh, okay. Si quiere, so, uh, eh, nos escucha y nos corrige cualquier cosa. All right. Eh, solo, okay, Alejandro. Solo de ¿Sí? la, 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 después de que me pregunta dónde está el banco, ¿qué fue lo que me dijimos? No. Yes, the bank is on no, the... No, la anterior, la anterior. Donde uh... me pregunta si es la fila del banco. No, it is the role for the Burger King. Ah. Okay. Say Burger King. Burger <laughs> King. You don't say burger, burger. You say Burger King. Burger King. Okay. Tuve que haber dicho Wendy, ¿verdad? 
<laughs> no, no, I mean the, 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 the pronunciation, yeah. I mean, I mean, yes, I am saying this because uh, the problem is that in Spanish, uh, we are used to saying Burger King, okay? Estamos acostumbrados a decir Burger King. But the, the, the pronunciation of this word is Burger King, okay? Burger, Burger King. King. Okay. Uh -huh. Burger King. Burger King. Exactly. Okay, okay démosle, Rocío. Okay, excuse me, this is the row for the bank? No, it's the row for the Burger King. Okay, uh, do you know where is the bank? Yes, the bank is in, on the other corner in front of the bar. Thanks for your help, have a nice day. You're welcome. Yeah, it's okay. It's, 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 yeah, it's okay. It's very short, but okay. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. It's short. short. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a small talk. I, I mean, it's not necessarily a short conversation, okay? Um, it's, it's maybe a conversation that is, it can be long. The point is that it's a conversation that is not like so important. It's not a business conversation directly, okay? Oh, okay. Yes. No, no, but, but it's okay. It's okay, you can leave it like that. I like it. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, okay, so you are ready, right? Just let, yes. me, just let me check the other groups and then we, we go to the main session, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. Hi, sorry. Did you finish? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. yes, all right. Just let me visit another group and then we go to the main session, okay? So continue, please, practice. Teacher. Yeah. Eh, ¿Será que alguien me puede cambiar a lo de ahora? Es que hoy me toca los 10 minutos con ustedes. Pero okay. estoy que me desmayo. Ok, déjame preguntar cuando regresemos a la sesión principal. Let me ask. Ah, yo... Okay. Porque no sé, me tomé algo y ando que yo siento que ya voy a caer. Oh my God, I imagine. Okay, don't take drugs. Don't take drugs. Es que han dado con dolor de cabeza. Ah. La salida pasada enferma. Ajá. Ok, Entonces I will ask. Creo que le hicieron efecto. Ah, ok, yo voy a preguntar. I will ask, ok? Solo okay. recuérdame, just remind me. Ok, ok. Ok, ok. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, topic for small, uh, number one, what kind of music do you like? What is your favorite restaurant? C3, you like to participate in business training. The conversation. Excuse me, where in the concert? In whole side of the... Okay, sorry, I was checking the list uh, for the one-on-one -on -one session, sorry, okay? So, uh, so did you finish preparing your conversation? Did you finish your conversation? Yes, are you ready to present to your classmates? Yeah? Yes. Yes, all right, so uh, just before you present, let me pass the attendance quickly. Antes de que presenten, déjenme pasar rápido la asistencia. Y tengo una pregunta, and I have a question, okay? okay. El día de hoy, today, uh, le corresponde la session one on one a Ana Abigail, ¿ok? Pero ella dice que está un poco enferma, se está sintiendo un poco enferma. Entonces, no sé si alguien de los que faltan podría cambiar con ella y solo le dice la fecha. It's not an obligation, no es obligación que lo hagan, ¿ok? It's not an obligation, repito, pero si alguien le podría hacer el favor de cambiar con ella, de los que faltan, le dice, por favor, ahorita. Teacher, 
Yo ya. falto, pero no tengo una fecha específica porque usted no me la asignó, porque estaba en ese momento de oyente, pero me Quiero. puedo presentar este día. Ok, eh, yeah, that's another topic. We can speak about that later. Podemos hablar luego de eso. Ese es otro tema. That's another topic, ok? Ok, so anybody else? Alguien que esté dispuesto a apoyar a, a Abigail? No, ok. So let me pass the attendance quickly. Voy a pasar rápidamente la asistencia. Eh, Alejandro? Me, teacher, sorry. Oh, who said me? ¿Quién dijo me? Who said me? Me, pero no me acuerdo qué fecha me toca. Ah, Frida, let me check. Déjame revisar. Let me check. Frida, um, te toca el viernes 11. De este viernes al siguiente. From this Friday to the next. Y a mí, teacher, que no me he podido... A mí se me fue el internet hace un momento y me tocó volver a... Ok, ese es eh, Yesenia, ¿verdad? Yesenia, right? Es igual, igual que Galileo, we can speak about that later. Podemos hablar de eso luego. Ok, we can speak about that later. Maybe you text me. Me manda un mensajito ahí. Teacher, me dijo que íbamos a hablar luego, ok? Yeah? Ok, ok. Please, ok? Very good. So, um, then, uh, Frida, uh, Frida will take uh, the one-on-one -on -one session today and Abigail, you go to Friday. Entonces, Abigail toma notas. Tú te vas a mover entonces para el viernes 11, ¿ok? De junio, viernes 11 de junio. Okay. Y Frida que lo haga hoy entonces, ¿ok? Thank you. Yeah. Ok. Oh. <laughs> Galileo, come on. All right, so let, let, let's go ahead. Continuemos con la asistencia. Um, Alejandro Antonio. Present teacher. Ana Abigail. Here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Present. Ember no está right. He's not here. Frida. Present. Jacqueline is it. Juan Carlos Alas. I'm here. All right. Juan Carlos Rivas. Rivas. No. Eunice. María Elena. Present. Mauricio Antonio. Nelson. Nelson. Here, ok, Omar. Angir. Yeah, yes, Nelson. It's okay. I put the attendance. Omar. Ok. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Rocío Lourdes. Present. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joana. Present. Uh, Yesenia. Present. Dinora. And Jose Galileo. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, we have six minutes. So in six minutes, uh, we can listen to some presentations, okay? So uh, are you ready to present? Yes? Say yes, please. All right, so let's listen to Maria Elena. Who is your uh, pair? Who is your partner for this activity, Maria Elena? Arnulfo. Okay, so we listen to you. Yeah, just before you start, just remember, a small talk, a small talk is a talk that is not important, okay? It's a talk that is not important. Not necessarily a business talk. Not necessarily una plática de negocios. Not necessarily a business talk, okay? Between, between two people who don't know each other. Entre dos personas que no se conocen. Between two people who don't know each other, okay? okay. All right, so Maria and Oscar, get started. <risa> ah, pues no la regamos, María Elena. <risa> sí, lo mismo pensé yo. <risa> no, it's okay. If, if you have the conversation between <risa> two people. <risa> okay, it's okay. No problem. Go ahead. Where are you vacation? Where are you vacation? Uh, I am going to San Esteban, Catarina. Oh, countryside. It's great. I prefer in the La Union. Okay.
Uh, hi, everyone. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. I'm so, um, hi. Hello. I'm sorry, I had a blackout. Tuve un apagón ahorita y se me apagó el internet. I'm sorry, okay? So, uh, okay. Maria, but I, I got connected with my cell phone, okay? So it's okay, don't worry. So, Maria, Elena, and Oscar, I think your classmates listen to you, but I didn't listen to you, okay? So can you repeat your conversation, please? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, where you go on vacation? I am go to San Esteban, Catarina, countryside. It's great. I prefer going to La Unión. Okay, I am glad to speak to you. Okay, bye, see you. I see you soon, bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Okay, thank you very much, Maria and Oscar. Uh, so let's give them thumbs up. Demos le thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up. Go to reactions, please. Thank you very much. Okay, Oscar Anulfo, select a classmate, please. Christian Lasso. Okay, so um, Christian Lasso. Who is your partner, Christian? Eh, Yesenia, solo que no hicimos la conversación, solo nos quedamos en las, en redactamos los topics. Ah, you only have the questions. Mm -hmm. It's okay, no problem. So, uh, so please, can you choose another person then? Puedes elegir a alguien? Can you choose another person, Christian? Oh, of course. Um, um, Ana Beatriz. All right. Ana Beatriz, who is your partner for the conversation? Nelson. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. We Nelson, a las preguntas. Hello. Nelson, Hello. question. Pregunte usted. Okay. Uh, what are the bodies on your company? Yes, I do the value. Oh. Do you have record mobile from on one place to another? It is visit several places in the country. Do you enjoy what do you have to hold? Yes, enjoy what do you I mean Okay. Eh, Finish. Finish. Okay. Yes, please. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Finish. Excuse me. Where is the presentation? It is on the online. Why? Why? Are you adding to? Yes, I you? am. Sorry. I find, I find, I find, I find. Thank you so much. See you there. Bye. I finish the chair. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That was uh, that was really a small talk, right? Okay, thank you very much, Nelson and Ana Beatriz. So please, everybody, let's give them thumbs up. Let's give them thumbs up. Go to reactions and give them thumbs up. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Thank you, Beatriz and Nelson. So let's see, let's listen to the last pair. Escuchemos la última pareja. So Ana Beatriz, can you select a pair, please? Okay. Um, Frida. Frida. Okay, Frida. Are you there, Frida? Your camera is off? No, it's on. Ah, no, 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 it's oh, Okay, then it's my internet. Okay. <laughs> so, Frida, can you, who is your, who is your partner? Jocelyn. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Yes. Yes. Let me... Good morning. Do you know where is the nearest coffee shop? Yes. You are out the corner. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Le cambiamos a petición del teacher. 
<laughs> yes, the, the, the problem is that I felt it was too direct. Okay, it's like, oh, let's go out, like very quickly, right? Muy rápido, let's go out, okay? So that, that's yeah, why. I had no doubt, teacher. <laughs> The problem is that there was too much confidence. Había demasiada confianza. There was too much confidence in your conversation, okay? All okay. right, so uh, uh, thank you, Frida and Jocelyn. Thank you for your conversation. And thank you, everybody, because I know everybody prefers their conversation, okay? Unfortunately, we don't have like the opportunity to share. I mean, for everybody to share their conversations, yeah? But I know everybody did the best, okay? Yo sé que todo hicieron lo mejor. I know everybody did their best, okay? So thank you very much. So we have Frida in the, in the private session today. So thank you very much for connecting. And ah, before you go, antes de que se me vayan, antes de que se me vayan. No olviden que viernes antes de la sesión es último día para terminar la semana dos. Y tienen también el examen medio, el midterm test, okay? Así que por favor, a completar la semana dos y hacer el examen medio. Te voy a dar hasta el lunes para el examen. ¿Ok? Pero la semana sí Teacher, deben completarla. Vamos a tratar mañana antes de la sesión. ¿Sí? Eh, yo la semana anterior estuve un poco saturado, entonces lo hice hasta el domingo. Hay un pro, ¿Habrá algún problema? O sea, me, me no, no, ya te cuento siempre no, la, no. la evaluación. No, it's ok. Ya te actualicé. Solo trata de hacerlo antes de mañana, el de, el de esta semana, por favor, please, ¿ok? Pero sí, ya te actualicé eso. Ah, no, ya lo, ya, ya lo terminé. Ah, ok, perfecto. Okay. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, so, so, everybody, thank you very much. No se les olvide completar las tareas, please. Don't forget to complete this week y el midterm test y el examen, ¿ok? So, thank you very much for connecting. Thank you for being patient, ¿ok? With me. So, everybody, good night. Take care and goodbye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Only Frida stays. Ah, so Frida, are you still are you still in the clinic, or in the where do you work? Uh, uh. Right now in my house. Uh, right now you are in your house. It looks like a it looks it looks I, like a clinic. Looks like a clinic. It looks like a clinic. Do you have a clinic? It, uh, it is uh, in my work. Uh, ah. I have a clinic. Ah, okay. It's in your work. I am, you... I am the, the medical doctor in a call center. Oh, I see. Which call center? Uh, one in. Oh, I see. Okay. So, uh, so this is my room. Oh, that's your space. Yes. Ah, I, I thought. Know. I thought it was your house. Pensé que era tu casa. I thought it was your house. No, it's es, es mi casa. This is my, ha my house. Okay. This is my room. Ah, I see. I see. All right. So, my room because le estoy robando el cable de electricidad a mi esposo. Ah, okay. I see. Okay, I see. Okay, Frida, so this space is for you. So, do you have any questions? Yes, teacher, I me cuesta bastante la plataforma. Realmente lo que pasa es que a mí no me ha quedado mucho tiempo quizás de, de poder ir a la plataforma. Entonces, cuando, por ejemplo, bueno, quiero ver si, si me meto. Voy a compartir mi pantalla. Okay, perfecto. No, con mil cosas abiertas, así que. Vaya. Quiero ver aquí dónde está. Aquí. Creo que es aquí. No. Así. Oh, Vaya, este. Voy a minimizar un poco esto. Vaya, en el caso, por ejemplo, las tareas sí, aquí las estoy haciendo. Okay. Pero cuando usted dice. ¿Dónde, dónde, cuando usted dice que hay que participar en las foros, de, foros en los foros realmente yo no sé dónde es que me tengo que ir ahí en la misma eh, pestaña de arriba perdón, baja discusión ¿Dónde, discusión sí, que sí aquí está ahí en discusión vaya si me voy a discusión es algo, lento, algo lento creo que está en mi compu 
Entonces, aquí, por ejemplo, las discusiones son estas, entonces. ¿Sube un poquito? ¿Ah? Esta es la semana uno. Sí. Fue la semana pasada. Ah, vaya, escucha. Arriba dice todos los temas. Ahí arriba hay una pestañita que dice todos los temas. Arriba. No, ahí no, más arriba. Abajito ah, okay. de discusión. Haz clic ahí. Ahí te aparecen las sesiones. Eh, ok, entonces, por ejemplo, la sesión es clase, me imagino, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces, la de hoy es sesión 9, creo. Exactamente, pero se sube hasta el siguiente día. Por eso tiene la sesión 8, que es la que se subió hoy, que es la de la clase de ayer. Mm, vale. La otra es, por ejemplo, para ver, usted dijo que había parte de las tareas. Me voy, para empezar, de verdad que para mí esta plataforma es bien confusa, súper confusa. De módulo 3, me voy aquí a... Estamos en esto, ¿verdad? En socializing. Uh -huh. Ahí está el middle exam. Mister, ¿no? el, el examen del que le estaba hablando correctamente. Ajá, vale. Entonces, este, estas son como las tareas. Ahí, ahí van apareciendo todas las completadas. Te aparece un chequecito verde, así como está ahí. Ajá, pero ¿cuántas tareas son semanales? Porque la vez pasada vi que había en varias tareas. Entonces... Normalmente son cinco tareas semanales. A veces Ajá, sale una por... más, pero son sí, cinco. Por... Ahí sí te sí, fijas. Si me voy aquí, realmente. Ay, me en, uh, no sé qué hice. Por ejemplo, si. Es la, una semana pasada, la semana pasada me salían más de 5, entonces yo decía, bueno, ya hay que hacerlas o no hay que hacerlas, porque me salían como 16. Y yo, sí, pues, sí, 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 son tareas todas hay que hacerlas, pero normalmente aparece una por día. Uh -huh. Es que depende, porque a veces como que juntan temas, entonces a veces aparecen dos, pero es raro, es un caso bien, bien aislado, ¿ok? Normalmente aparece una tarea por día. Ok, entonces si yo me vengo aquí a curso, ahí me aparece el... El, como la, la unidad en la que estamos y el examen. Ajá, sí, la sección es la unidad. Sección 1 es unidad 1, sección 2 es unidad 2. Ajá, entonces prácticamente estas son los, como las actividades que yo tendría que venir a hacer. Esto. Exactamente. Y este, la discusión. Correctamente. Va, ok. Eso era como realmente mi duda. Ok. En, en cuanto a, a la plataforma, porque sí sentía yo que realmente me estaba costando ubicar las cosas. Ok. Voy a dejar de compartir. Bueno, no sé si, si, si era, y el espacio para, es para eso o, o, se, o se ve más cosas. Sí, está bien, de hecho. It's ok. Ajá. Eh, y siempre el espacio es también por si hay alguna duda eh, respecto a algún tema estudiado, pronunciación, vocabulario, eh, gramática, no sé. Algo que no te haya quedado claro, algo que quieras pronunciar. So Quizás it's... ahorita que se me venga a la mente, no, teacher. Realmente es... Eh, no a mí, a mí lo que me cuesta es un poco conjugar los, los verbos. Okay. Quizás, yo siento que quizás no tengo la mejor pronunciación del mundo, porque no la tengo definitivamente, pero lo que me gusta, cuesta es formar oraciones. Eso ok, es entiendo. Sí, eh, básicamente, eh, about that, respecto a eso, about that, eh, siempre se sigue una, siempre se sigue, perdón, una estructura que es como general, is very general. Okay. No le escucho, sorry. Se le fue el audio. Ahora. Ahora sí. Bien. Eh, normalmente. ¿eh? Uh -huh. Se le está yendo el audio, teacher. Sorry. Luego va un verb, un verbo. Uh -huh. Y luego va un complemento, un complemento, ¿ok? Sí. Es como una estructura generalizada, una estructura básica, ¿ok? okay. So you have a better idea, para que tengas una idea. Aquí en el subject puede ser un nombre o un pronombre. A noun or a pronoun, ¿ok? For example, I can say Frida, ¿ok? Frida. Yeah. And then... Speaks, for example, speaks. Speaks, um, y en el complement, I say languages. Ok. ¿Eh? Es como la estructura básica a seguir para una oración, para una oración simple, digamos, para a simple sentence, ok. Puede ser una oración negativa. So I say he, y obviamente como el dasen también es parte de un verbo, 
okay, es un verbo auxiliar. Doesn't speak, for example. Doesn't speak English. Él no habla inglés. He doesn't speak English. Solo para darte, just to give you one example, okay? Okay. Yes, es como una, una fórmula generalizada. It's like a general formula, okay? Pero me no lo quito todavía, le voy a tomar una captura pantalla. Ok. Generalmente sí. Es lo que a mí más me cuesta realmente. Es eso, es como okay. formar oraciones ya para, al momento de, sobre todo al hablar. Exacto. Eso es general. This is very general, ok? Si es okay. para preguntas, if it's for questions, normalmente ponemos un auxiliar al principio, un verbo auxiliar. Okay, que podría ser do en el presente o das. Cualquier otro verbo auxiliar. En este caso que estamos estudiando el pasado podría ser did. Okay. Luego va el sujeto, el verbo y el complemento. La misma estructura, de same structure. Solo que aquí le ponemos un verbo auxiliar. Por ejemplo, do. Do you uh, check? Okay. Y luego puedo decir email. Do you check email? Ese es el correo usando un verbo auxiliar, ¿ok? Esa es la diferencia okay. entre preguntas. That's the difference. Ok. Ok, ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok, no problem. So, basically, that's the job just to help you a little bit. Espero que eso... Se le vuelve... Ah, perdón. Espero que eso te ayude. La verdad que sí. Muchas gracias, teacher. Ah, se le volvió a ir el audio. Es que estoy conectado con mis datos porque se me fue el internet. I'm sí, sorry. Es la hora, no quiere ya seguir trabajando. Yes. yes, that's true. Ok, Frida. So, okay. I don't know if you have any other question or that's it. Por el momento, no. Como le digo, realmente, ahorita que se me venga a la mente, no. Okay. Ya después me voy a acordar. Ok, perfect. You can ask me anytime. Ok, eh, pre pregunta, teacher. Este, realmente, en, la, en, el, en el grupo de WhatsApp, no tengo idea cuál es su número. Ok. Porque eh, no. Send you a message. La vez pasada enviaron los nombres. So, uh, let me Pero send you yo, a message. Yo, yo, yo cambié de aparato hace poco. Oh, andas otro número. Es importante, entonces. No, pero... no, eh, tengo el mismo número, pero la cosa que cuando ellos escribieron, como para presentarse a todo el mundo, este, yo cambié de aparato hace como dos, tres días. Entonces, toda la, el, me, el último backup que me hizo de WhatsApp fue de hace como a mediados de mayo. Entonces. Voy a, hagamos una cosa. Voy a, igual, yo siempre voy a mandar un mensaje generalizado ahorita acerca de las tareas. Ahí okay. puedes agarrar mi número. Ok. Ok. Okay. ok. Ah, y la otra semana, no estoy segura si es miércoles o jueves, yo tengo una cena de negocios. Ok. Entonces, es para, todavía no estoy segura, pero sí le, le escribiría para decirle, mire, Tisha, no voy a poder presentarme este día. Yeah, it's ok. Thank you very much. Ok. Thank you, Tisha. Okay. Good night. Night.